Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. <clears throat> now, you just saw the conclusion of the NCAA bracket, right? The Yukon Huskies are the national champions. Well, for those of you interested in how the seedings will turn out in the NBA, who want a website that features ongoing updated bracket information. And this is especially important for futures betters. I encourage you to go to www.nbaplayoffsbracket.com. Again, that's www.nbaplayoffsbracket.com. Right? What you're going to find is a bracket there based on current records. Right? I would encourage you to look long and hard at that bracket because the matchups really will determine who has the highway to the conference finals and who doesn't. Right? So just food for thought, understand a lot of those teams though are in flux. Right? Right now there's a battle going on for third place in the Eastern Conference. We'll talk about that a little bit later in this video. Also there is a battle that's ongoing for eighth place in the Western Conference. So just understand that that website is going to be updated from time to time. For gamblers, I consider that site to be a valuable resource. <clears throat> Let's talk about some developments that you need to know about. If you're a futures better, what I want you to do right now is to cross off the Golden State Warriors. I don't believe this team, and I'm in the Bay Area, can win it. I believe it's over for this team. Why? Because of flux in their coaching staff. Understand you've had really an underreported story here. Two different members of the coaching staff have been dismissed in the last few weeks. Two of them. What's even worse is the fact that the head coach, one of my favorites, Mark Jackson, whenever he's in front of the media, has had to deal with these two dismissals. And of course, Jackson has publicly towed the corporate line, right? Jackson, for example, with regard to the dismissal of the most recent coach, which was for conduct detrimental to the team or in violation of team policies, Jackson, who in my opinion should have taken the high road, should have remained above the fray, instead in this politically charged environment, said that the right decision was made. When the coaching staff's unsettled, I believe the team is unsettled. Let's go one step further. If you Google this just a few weeks ago, there were issues between starting center Andrew Bogan and Mark Jackson. Right? There were rumors all over the net that the two guys were at odds. Bogut, of course, is a guy who knows his way around the disabled list. Right? There were issues, just like there were last year with Dwight Howard in Los Angeles. There were issues about Bogut's ability to play with pain. Right? Now, Jackson, of course, took to the airwaves to deny the problems. But let's just say there was a lot of smoke there. I don't believe the Warriors are good enough to have this kind of drama taking place in the background. Understand the way the seedings lay out right now. In their bracket, as the sixth seed, they would have to play the Los Angeles Clippers in the first round of the playoffs. If they're lucky enough to get by the Clippers, they would have to play the winner of the Oklahoma City Thunder versus Dallas Maverick first round matchup. Right? I don't believe the Golden State Warriors, given all that's happened, are worthy of a futures play at this point. If you have a future on the Warriors, I would start to hedge out of it before the first game of their first playoff series. Right? I know this sounds hard. I'll tell you what, losing money at the casino is hard. We have to make hard decisions here. Right? 
the Warriors, in my opinion, are in disarray compared to the other teams in the league. Right? I would stay clear of them if I were you. Let's talk about some other things. Right? The battle for third place in the Eastern Conference comes down to the Bulls and the Toronto Raptors. There's some big games coming up. Understand third place is key because you don't want to play the Brooklyn Nets in the first round of the playoffs. There's a reason why Jason Kidd in his first year as head coach has won coach of the month two different times. The Nets have turned it around. They're the five seed. Right? If you're a team that wants to get ahead, you need to find a way to avoid slipping to the four seed. Right? Because that's going to be a pretty intense first round matchup against the Brooklyn Nets. Well, right now, Chicago is tied with Toronto. If you're a futures better, you need to keep an eye on both teams. Chicago has a couple of tough games. Right? The Minnesota Timberwolves on the road on April the 9th, and the New York Knicks on the road on April the 13th. You need to pay attention to those two games. You need to pay attention to Toronto on the road at the Knicks on April 16th. Right? Those games could well decide who ends up with the three seed in the Eastern Conference. Let's talk about the Knicks. <clears throat> it's over for the Knicks. I don't want to hear about mathematical possibility, this, that, and the other. They're three games behind in the loss column to the Atlanta Hawks. Right? If you're a futures better, you need to just cross the Knicks off your list. Understand, too, if the Knicks are lucky enough, to come back from that deficit, right? And they're trying to be the eighth seed in the Eastern Conference. Then they would have the pleasure, if they become the eighth seed, of playing the Miami Heat in the first round of the playoffs. It's not happening, New York. I'm a Knicks fan. It's painful. But again, let's not lose money to the casino. Cross the Knicks off your list. It's not their year. Right? Finally, let's talk about the Titanic. Right? The Hindenburg. The team that right now is falling out of the sky. And that's the Indiana Pacers. Before you tear up that betting ticket on the Pacers, just understand, the Pacers are assured the two seed in the Eastern Conference. Understand their road to the Eastern Conference Finals is much easier than the Miami Heat's road. Right? Much easier. Understand. The bracket in which the Pacers are, the other three teams that they would have to get by bracket-wise to make the conference finals are the Charlotte Bobcats. They're improved, but they're not ready. Right? The Toronto Raptors and the Washington Wizards. Right? I would argue that the Wizards and the Bobcats are too green in terms of playoff experience to be a factor in these playoffs. I would argue that Toronto, dangerous, really more of a jump shooting team, DeMar DeRozan, Kyle Lowry, I believe the Pacers can lock them up defensively. Right now, I actually would prefer to be in that bracket. And keep in mind, Toronto's being challenged right now by Chicago for the three seed. Fair enough. But I'd rather be in that bracket than the Heat bracket. Right? The Heat have a first round bye practically because they would play the Atlanta Hawks. But then they would have to deal with the winner of the Chicago Bulls versus the Brooklyn Nets. Folks, I don't want to deal with Joachim Noah. I don't want to deal with KG, Paul Pierce, uh, Darren Williams in the playoffs. Right? That's a tough bracket. Just being the higher seed doesn't mean that you have the better playoff situation. Right? I would argue that as bad, and they have been bad, as the Indiana Pacers have been of late, I still think they have time to get it together in time to make it to 
the conference finals. Anyway, that's a NBA update for April the 8th, 2014. Let me know what you think. What insights can you give us on these NBA playoffs? Let me also say, too, just as an aside, I know many people are hot and bothered over the Houston Rockets, right? I'm not a believer in the Rockets. Just understand, though that the Rockets, whether they're the four seed or whether they are the five seed, even if they get by the first round of the playoffs, the second round of the playoffs would be against, in my opinion, a vastly superior San Antonio Spur team. Right? So the seedings just aren't breaking the Rockets' way. Right? Food for thought. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.